Hello and welcome to this week's OutSystems Developer Advocacy Team video. My name is Jay Santos and today we'll be talking about using an iframe on your application. We're going to be talking about two scenarios on this video. Embedding an external web page on your application using iframes and embedding another application uh, using iframes running on a different environment. So let's get started. So over here I have a quick demo of what we want to achieve. So I have here my application running and I have a couple of iframes on the left. I have an iframe running the Wikipedia page and you can see it's active if I click on, for instance, oops, if I click on the Event Horizon Telescope page, I just go straight to it. If I click on another one and I can uh, navigate Wikipedia normally. Of course, it's on a, on a very bad 500 by 500 pixel window, but you know, you got the point. On the right, I have an application that is running on another domain, but I'm accessing it and I can use its features. So if I apply a 50% discount on this product, I get 39, half of it is 1950. Uh, again, this application is from the combo boxes video that we did uh, a few weeks ago, and I'm just repurposing it to show it running on an iframe. Now setting the page itself, it's pretty straightforward. So I have here, uh, we're back on Service Studio and I have here, uh, if I go to my widget tree, you can see that I have a couple of iframes uh, on my page. And the iframe widget itself, once again, is very straightforward to set. All I need to do is set the source URL and the height and width of the iframe window itself. So on this, on this uh, widget here, I am opening the Wikipedia page and on the iframe widget on the right, I am opening the application running on, on another domain. However, if I run this application as it is right now, I get a couple of, er of errors. I'm not showing either the Wikipedia page nor the application. And if I check uh, Chrome's inspector, I can see why. I have a couple of er errors here, so refuse to frame uh, en.wikipedia.org because it violates the following content security policy directive. So what is happening here is that my application is not allowed to show the iframe content because of the content security policy. So let's have a look of how you change the content security policy of your application. So in order to set the content security policy of your uh, of your environment, you go to the Lifetime portal, click on Environments, and select the, the appropriate environment. In our case, we're using the development environment, and click on More Security Settings. Here, you have the Content Security Policy option, which by default is disabled, so I click On, and when I click On, several options show up. The option that is relevant to us is the Child uh, Source option, which as it is described, specify the domains which the application is allowed to embed framed. So right now we're going to add the Wikipedia domain and I'm going to break the line and I'm going to paste the other domain where I'm running the combo box application. Once I've done that, I click scroll down and click on save. And when I save, I get this warning, it's fine. It's just describing that it added some default options to all the other fields, like uh, on the base URI, you have self on default source, you have self and gap, so that's fine. You don't have to worry about it. And now I get back to Service Studio and I need to republish my application. And once I do, I edit. And as you can see, I have Wikipedia and the application running at the same time. Now, one final important configuration is, uh, is that on the content security policy, you also need to allow applications to be embedded. So right now, I am at the lifetime uh, console for the environment which contains my combo box application which is the one that is being embedded on an iframe. If we go back to my screen. So 
I'm on the environment that is containing the combo box application, which is different than the environment which is containing my iframe demo application. Here, on the content security policy for this environment, on the frame ancestor setting, which specifies the domains which are allowed to embed the application in a frame, over here, I need to set the domain for my iframe application. So this is important, otherwise I would not be able to embed my combo box application. So that's it for today's video. I hope it was useful and as always, any uh, topic suggestion and actionable feedback is more than welcome. Once again, I'm Jay Santos. You have my email and my Twitter account on screen. Feel free to reach me. Thank you very much and I'll see you on the next video.